Hi everybody, Sharon from Vivid Days. I am super excited by some of the Resonate craft kits that you can now buy. So if you're not inspired and you can't pick out your own colours or you want to challenge yourself, have a little look. I don't think they're too bad price point. This one I purchased for cost me £34.95. There's um, VAT to go on top of that. But the resin itself and some of the things in there would cost that amount of money so i think it's good just for you to try and then if you do like them you buy it in bigger quantities therefore it works out cheaper but i'm going to unbox this with you and we're going to have a look what this one is so this one is a create with resonate so it's the jesonite jesonite craft kit geometric d lights and then it's got the information on there and at the back there is instructions on health and safety about wearing your gloves. Make sure you're wearing a respirator when sanding resin. Well ventilated area, safety goggles, avoid skin contact, avoid drinking, eating, smoking whilst working in resin. And in case of eye contact, water, put water in your eyes for 15 minutes. So it's got your standard things on here, a little discount. And you get this cute little card in there that says, look what I made with Resinate. So if you're interested in that type of thing, you can go on there and pop it on and share what you have done with it all right i'm gonna unbox it with you i'm excited because i don't really know what i've got in the kit i mean i know what's in the kit but not as in the total content breakdown and i've been curious about this gemini and i was talking to blair from first crack of corner about it but i thought i'll give it a go so let's see if we've got the full kit uh-huh. All right, let me pull it out. So, the bag is empty. I think a good thing about the Resonate stuff is it does talk about that it is all, um, like, carbon neutral. Carbon neutral, is that what it said? Yeah, don't know. Yeah. Anyway, put that out. So, let me get rid of my bag. So, in the kit... So in the kit, we are getting three moulds. Now, these are meant to be tea light moulds, candle holders. So very similar to what you would use for resin. It's a high shine. It looks like silicone. Quite lightweight. Uh, there you go. Move that out of the way. And then what we get in here. So this is the um, geometric tea light holder kit. Create with resinate. Package we love from by Kim. Well, thank you very much, Kim. So, what we get in here is the instructions showing you what you're going to make, which is kind of cool. So, we have a sculpt and cast based powder, liquid, reusable silicone tea light holder mold, mixing sticks, mixing cups, measuring cups, pigment, metallic crushed flake, and a pair of nitro gloves. Uh, an additional item you will need is a non porous table cover. Got that. Uh, apron and old cloths got that and kitchen towel that's kind of cool before you start ensure that your work areas and food preparation out of the way of children although sculpt cast is non-toxic it's a chemical and should be used uh, with care by adults eat drink and smoke away from the area you work in if liquid activator or base come into contact with skin wash thoroughly with soapy water if in Incidentally, we shouldn't want to do that. Ingested or the products gets into eye seat medical advice immediately. Protect your work surface with non-porous cloths such as vinyl, tablecloth, plastic sheet, apron, everything like that. So a top tip. Most pigments will appear much lighter in the sculpt and cast as the powder and liquid are opaque. So you have our own range of essential colours made specifically to sculpt cast that do not lighten. This kit contains black um, we also sell red, yellow, blue, uh, to create your own spectrum. It's got some ideas down there. Um, so you can keep it, gift it, sell it. 
and it makes three. Interesting. So then we have our instructions here. So you get one that gives you a marble effect, one that gives you a defined layer, and one that's diagonal marble. Oh, I quite like that. I reckon that's pushing it a little bit for my first one. So style it your way. So what I'm getting from these instructions is you've basically got 15 minute working time. So if you want to do it half and half, you're going to put things on an angle, pour in what you want, leave it for 15 minutes, then come in and add the rest. So that's for that one. The same would be for this, for the layered look. You'd put in your first layer, leave it 15 minutes, then come in and top up the rest. And with this one, you're just going to basically pour it in and swirl it. So yeah, so this is exciting. It's going to be very quick. So that is the instructions. I do love a good package kit. What have I got in here that was packed by Kim? Some tissue paper, be able to recycle that. Oh, we have our cups. Stirring sticks. Award-winning craft supplier. So, we have got toothpicks, stirring sticks, we have a metallic powder and a black pigment. And we have our small measuring cup, be able to reuse that again, be able to reuse these again. And we've got some gloves. So that's all the material uh, equipment you will need. And then in here is gotta be the Sculpting Cast Jessamite Base. Non-toxic solvent, VOC free, opaque acrylic polymer mineral resin for detailed decorative inventory cast. Cruelty free, yeah, there you go. Ratio, mixing ratio, 2.5 part base to one part liquid. <laughs> 10 to 15 minute working time. <laughs> oh, um, 15 minutes, uh, work, 10 to 15 minute working time. Curing time, demolding in 15 to 20 minutes, fully cured in 24 to 48 hours. Use accurate scales, work out of direct sunlight. Ooh. Uh, add retarder to extend working time. I don't know what retarder I would add. Pour a small amount of mixture product into the bowl first. Use a brush to cover the surface. So within this then, it's actually quite full. I think I've got, I wonder if you can add any kind of pigment because if I can add any pigment, I've got plenty I could use for that. I'm a bit worried. I should really just use what they've given me to see what effects I can get, Sharon. And then we can come up and read a little bit more and mix it. So that is the Sculpt Cast Jessamite Liquid, non-toxic solvent. And oh, OK, so they've mixed it up for me already. Oh, that's good. So we have three packs here for three candles. So that has made it a lot easier. So I've got to measure that and then work out my one part and put that in. That's kind of cool. All right, Sharon, you can do this. Stop being afraid. So I am all set up and we are going to do the marble effect, which is basically I am going to pour between 36 to 38 mils into this measuring cup. I'm going to transfer it into one of these and then I'm going to empty one of these full sachets into it. And then I am going to mix it together to make sure there's no sticky clumps of powder hiding in there. But warning, on your marks, it's already going to start to cure in about five minutes. And then I'm going to get my pigment out of here, dip my cocktail stip in it and tap it so you get these little blobs throughout it. But don't mix it in. Um, and then as I pour, pour it at a height in a circular motion. Uh, and that should help cause a natural marble effect. And that should help with bubbles. Once it's fully in there, Tap it, releasing any air bubbles and use my um, cocktail stick to get rid of those bubbles and it should harden in 20 minutes. Well, that's number one, which we're going to do. So let's do this, Sharon. I'm really enjoying this. Getting my gloves on. Pop those out the way a little bit. We'll do it in the order they say, just in case if I did it the other way, if it might do anything different. But... Get your pigments out ready, Sharon. Get your popsicle stick ready for mixing. So I think pressure preparation is king. So I've got my thing for the hair bubbles. I got my thing for mixing. I've got my pigment all popped 
and ready to go. Ooh, don't fall over though. That's going to be terrible, isn't it? Pop that there. Bit of support. And we are going to pour between 36 to 38 mil. Wow, that's really hard, isn't it? Because you've got your 30 and 40. So 35. If I just go straight over that line there, that is going to be 36 mils. I've made sure my board is level. Oh, wow. Very fluid. Ah, and I'm leaking. That wasn't a good pour there, Sharon, was it? Oh, I'm getting a bit nervous. I'm pulling back a bit too much and then it's dribbling down my bottle. So that's just under the 30 mil. Of course, I'm trying to go steady. I don't want it to go over the 30. So that is 35. And that's got to be it. All right. That's got to be 36 mils. All right. Get ready, Sharon. One of these full packs going in. But I am going to transfer this. It's measuring pot. Just going to let that seep out a little bit. Then we'll have to clean that. The only thing I don't know is how long will it take to clean this part here or... And that, I'm just going to wipe it around. Let it drain out a little bit because it, we need the right mixture. Just letting that drain in there. Let's move that to one side and I'll clean that up afterwards. And then I'm going to add this full powder, but I'm going to tip it up to one side. Just try and make sure it's not clumpy. Well, that's not going to work, Sharon, but... You're on a time limit, so I'm already feeling the panic. All right. That is in there. Mix it up. Hey, Siri, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Oh, yeah. It's like going like a plaster of Paris. So I'm going to push it to the side like you do when you're baking to try and get rid of those lumps. We don't want any hard clumps. Getting right to the bottom and in the corners. Like Plaster of Paris. Right, I'm pushing it down and scraping it around like you do when you're doing your normal resin just to try and make sure. I don't think until I'm pouring if I'm going to really know if I've got everything. It's looking fairly good. Last couple of scrapes around and then let's get my dye ready. Alright. Scrape my popsicle stick. Alright. Doesn't look like I've got any obvious... Um, things in there and now we're going to try and do our marble effect well, I'm not really doing good at getting many drops in there <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see this <laughs> I'll show you I'm just gonna yeah just dot it like that Maybe that'll do something. <laughs> I just feel like I'm on a time pro. I'm on, what was it? I'm on time pressure. I don't want to use all my pigment though because I've got other things to go in there. Maybe just do one little sort of drag through. All right, that'll do, Sharon. Right, so, so that's what it looks like inside. Nothing to write home about. But let's go in a circular motion, slow. And from high, I up Ooh, like a zebra. Oh, I feel like I'm doing top of a cake. Don't know if it's looking like a marble in effect yet, but I've not seen any big lumps, which is good. I've seen lots of air bubbles. 
I should go around the edge like that now. And I'll do some of these effects. I don't know if I'd call it a marbling effect, but I uh, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. It's always good to be on an adventure, isn't it? And then we're going to tap the sides. Let's air bubbles and see if that is as near full to the top as possible. I might go that way to try and get some of that black. All right, so I need to tap it now, it says. Squidge the sides. Don't know if that's going to distort my image. Oh no, I am seeing some air bubbles come up. So that's five minute timer gone. So in theory, in hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. In theory, in 15 minutes that should be done. I'm going to keep squeezing. And then we'll move on to the next one. the bang I'm gonna just hold underneath a little bit on it make sure there's none banging it at least i'm getting more natural effects coming in there yeah, i think pouring that little like circular motions will allow the pigment time to mix and the marble as it reaches the mold once full tap the side up and most release any bubbles pop these with a the cocktail stick lead to harden for 20 minutes which i've done uh, i cannot see now the only thing i don't know is can you apply heat to this and you're not so i'm just going to leave it and follow the guys but so while this is curing there's not long left on the timer i'm going to start doing with the defined layers which is the option number two so this one is separate your bags into two equal mixtures which i did <laughs> not that i've ever been a drug dealer but measuring this white powder equally <laughs> was an interesting experience but i've measured it and painstakingly got it exactly level uh, should I say weight the same? Now I am going to uh, measure out 18 mils of the Jezzamite liquid um, into a measuring uh, cup and then pour into a measuring for the base and slowly mix until fully cured, no lumps. So, same as other, add one drop of pigment from the cocktail, stir evenly, and mix through. Wow, it said 15 minutes and that is 15 minutes and that is hard. I love this stuff. All right, so I am going to add a little bit of the black to mix it in, but then I'm going to um, drape in my liquid metal powder. So I'm going to try and do a marbling effect from a base of gold. Should I say base of black? There you go. So it's just like a powder you'd use within your resin. So, let me get that open ready because time is of the essence with this. Basically, you can get whatever effect you want. But let's start with this. So, the hardest thing I find is mixing or finding your, your 18 mil. So, I've got 20. So, I've got to go between the 15 and 20. Come on, Sharon. You can do it. I think that's about 18 mils because... Let me let it settle. You know what? I think I'm going to add gold at the bottom and then do the marbling effect at the top so let me make sure that that is 18 mil so it's not quite 20 it's past the 15 probably looks more like 19 but i'm gonna go with that 18 here we go sharon right put that one away for now i'm gonna add this to this i'm doing it a different way just to see what that will do let it drain in there for a little bit. Oh, oh that goodness. 
and then mix. Okay, so we are mixing it speedily because again, within five minutes it starts to set. Go it through now, scrape around the edges, make sure you're in the corners, push it down, get rid of the lumps out of your, your pastry mix. That's what it feels like, your plaster of Paris. Compromise, isn't there? You want speed, you want no lumps, but you can't dilly dally, as it says. So I dilly and dally, dally and dilly. What song is that for? Musical. All right, so I'm going to now add some of that gold, beautiful gold pigment. But I'm going to go in there. I want it quite bright. Oh, it's not gone really bright gold. It's gone like a, a off cold, which is why it was talking about that it goes quite light. So I'm going to add a little bit more and maybe not stick it in. So maybe we'll get a little bit of that gold powder set in. I'll just fold it and see what happens there. Maybe I'm getting creative now. Just dab a few little bits of this black in again. Not a lot. I don't want it to be as vivid as the other, but just streaks through. So that's given me three dots and with four dots all right now oh, i don't know whether to put some more of that gold in i'm gonna go oh there's lump oh sharon there's a lump the pressure get rid of it no so i'm gonna have to oh wait the lump was the powder oh i've ruined it i've ruined it the lump really was the gold powder, so that's going to be grey now. Ooh, a sandy grey. Or oh, should we say terracotta? <laughs> All right, so pigment wasn't the best choice myself. I did that, but I wonder if I sprinkle some gold around it now. Is it going to stick to it? I don't know if it will. Let's have a little bit of fun, Sharon. So what do you mean when you're saying it, Sharon? Well, I'm going to sprinkle a tiny little bit of pigment just around and see if any of that gold will filter in or come through. Now that's a lot, so I'm thinking not. But you don't know, do you, Sharon? It's all a learning curve. So I think before I add any more of this um, jessamite to it, I will then have to go around and wipe the edges. But what we have to do is bang the edges to get rid of the air bubbles. Squeeze it. Sorry, terracotta. I am going to go for black at the top to make up for my shame. Might just poke the gold through as well into it. <laughs> People are proficient to this, they probably go, Oh, Sharon, stop it. But all's fair in experimenting, hey? All right. Work on those bubbles and then we'll come back and fix you to disaster. You're doing so good, Sharon, then. Okay, so I can actually get on with the other one. So he wants me to pop this underneath here. So I'm going to do it so that'll be at slightly an angle. We're going to use half for our mixture here because we've got to split the other end up in two halves anyway. And I may as well mix that in. So that's going to want 18 mils of that again. 
and we'll push it to the side and let that set and then those ones will be done roughly at the same time so it's all about finding your rhythm with this one isn't it just got to work out how to get my pigments it's better different color all right so 18 mils of jessamite again we're going to go all right so we're going in for this one just let that drip a little bit that's why you should put i think the jessamite in first because you're gonna let your cup sit a little bit to get it out and that's eating into that valuable time but mix it in scraping and pushing down getting rid of making sure my batter mixer's not got any lumps in it and i'm probably saying the same thing So I'm going to do a marble effect on an angle, but then I'm going to come in and I am going to then add black. Now, actually, I might just leave it clear like it does in here. Just get the ideas going. All right, so I'm going to come in now with black marble. All right. And pour it into the side where it is angled Time to pop those bubbles. It's going to be interesting doing that while it's on an angle. Squeeze it. Now I'm going to pop that up even more at an angle. pushing it up a bit higher it didn't look like it was retaining it so oh. at the same time I don't want it to be deformed if I do it that way all right now I'm gonna spread the powder again over two more things so i've measured my 18 ml of jessamite and i have got my half mixture here that it is going into i'm gonna put that in here and so this is just going to have black at the top of this yeah i'm going to go for black and then by the time we've done that i should be able to come in and do the top of here and i am thinking black again <laughs> I think it'll be nice when I understand what are the pigments you can use in this um, because as it says it dilutes a lot of the colours so um, I want to see what I can do with that but times are pressing on time to mix my batter mixture but I really am having fun you want to try something new uh, so far i'd recommend this i've not seen the results yet but getting these packs if you're in a little bit of a rut or you're wanting to be inspired because i think when you get these packs you've got everything you need to give it a go because it's only when you touch things within certain art do you think oh i want to know more about that or no that's not for me uh, you get a go before you have to buy bigger stocks and I suppose if I'm going to do this um, 
just build up supplies over a period of time. Just checking there's no lumps. And we're going to see how this black responds if we put it in to try and make it go black. I think it needs to be a fairly solid black to contrast that <laughs> mud colour that I created. We'll say that. I'm going to leave my stick in there a little bit because I've got to, obviously, stir in. All right, so that's quite a lot of black that's gone in there. Give it a mixture. Yeah, it's gone nice and solid. Ooh, I reckon that's going to be nice now. The only thing I don't know is if that gold has uh, been ruined by... <laughs> oh, should I say, if this pot had been ruined by me just putting that gold on top there. We shall see, hey? There are going to be air bubbles in here, so I am going to have to make sure I give this a good tap. Don't be able to see this colour now because it's blending in with the black um, pots. I'm just going to scrape around the edge. Alright, time to tappy tap a tap. with the uh, toothpick which makes me a bit worried in case there's something I'm not quite doing right but we're gonna live and learn Sharon we are going to live and learn wait in case all that gold's gonna come to the top now just wait for this part to be fully cured so I suppose this is the only thing with being a little bit confident like I was doing it because it's like okay well I can't really stand this on its side or tap, so that's a lesson learnt, Sharon. You might have to be patient. You're going to do three different types. A little lump I just got out there. I think I saw a black thing just go in there. And then on this one, I'm going to definitely do black as well. going to wait for it to stiffen up so there's no point mixing it together but we'll keep pushing the edges to try and release any air bubbles and I've not figured out if you can put a little torch on top of it that's a big no you know what's nice about this is you cannot smell any fumes or vapors like you would do with uh, normal resin I think I, I think I mentioned when I was babbling if this is not raised as much as I want it to be I could always dome with resin not too sure if that's acceptable but it could be an option mixing both together a little bit of resin a little bit of jessamite wow so there is no wastage um, basically you get the right amount for what you need, which is great. I mean, obviously I can reuse, reuse these molds. I'm gonna have some pigments left, mainly the gold, not the blacks, I've used the black. I've used just about all my popsicle sticks. I do have a couple of gloves left. I do have a cup left, and I'm gonna have a 
lollipop stick left and two toothpicks but other than that content in there is right with a little bit of buffer in there for you and obviously i have my tub that i'll be able to reuse just giving that a little wipe out and then i'll just start mixing it in there. to just have a bit of gold in this one all right come on Sharon mix Checking for no lumps, and then look at that nice consistency there. If I do say so myself. that has hardened so I can put this flat now all right time to do the edges All right, oh, what's this been? About 45 minutes to an hour. When it says demold, you've got to wait until the 15 minutes have gone, then you wait until it's heated up and uh, cooled down. These are now cooled down, so I'm gonna look at removing them. The only obvious flaw I can see so far as they're in here is this little um, edge there. And that's because as that was setting and I was trying to tap that, it caused that to come so that's user error because that one is flush and that one is so you know what if it if it bugs me what i'm going to do as i said in the video is come back and add resin to the bottom and maybe gold to make it stand out and what it says for demolding is basically once you've got it so it's cool to touch it's time to remove from the molds gently pull back the sides of the silicone to release the tea light holder and carefully push from the bottle bottom <laughs> uh, and we're going to do this now so i'm going to start with this one here i don't know where uh, the best way to, to handle it i'm going to sort of roll and push roll and push and try not to <laughs> get my nails in there i'm pushing from the bottom that's sort of released fairly nicely oh where uh, oh 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 suction power okay let me push that back in let's have a little look ski oh what have i done there oh, i pushed it too far there we go oh Ooh. let's get that out of the way so let's have a little look all right so that is kind of cool it's interesting it's got, i think that's where i could see it was too dark coming through there but look at that that's actually really cute. It feels smooth. I like that effect and, I, you know, I, I can perfect it. So, you know, number one tea light done and like you can do these in what, two hours. And
and that's done that's just ridiculous and you could definitely come in the dome it is quite sharp around the edges so i think that's what i might do or i might continue watching videos to see how to perfect that but monotone quite good less is definitely more um yeah all right we're gonna go with the middle one now <laughs> this is the one i'm not expecting to work because i instead of rubbing the gold around it i put big blobs in there so there's probably going to be cracks and crumbles and effects and then there's this part here so i'm not sort of um you know <laughs> i'm not expecting miracles but i'm going to share it with you as we go pushing it up this is the one where it was the um two sides so let me just stick this back in oh. and then we'll come back and explore oh. all right so what i am enjoying is where i added black here and i thought it was that yuki color it's gone more like a terracotta oh you got that little gold shimmer in there so it has all absorbed in there and then around here, there's a tiny little hole there. But other than that, it has sort of absorbed in there. I quite like the rustic look at it. Look at it. There's a tiny little, if I hold it there, you can see that shimmer coming through. There it's, you can see there's a line where it's a bit of a ridge where, I'm not too sure how I did that or why. I think it's because when this i put the bottom part in it was raising up around the edges and what i probably should have done is made sure it was flush flat but it's gone like a rustic pot and i actually really like that gold shimmer it looks so marbly i will show you these in daylight these do have to sit and fully cure for 24 hours but <laughs> so far i'm really enjoying all right, so this one I think is going to be better than that one. And even though I thought this was the worst one, I'm actually really enjoying that one so far the best. It's just the bottom part there is a little bit... Maybe if I just put a little bit of gold at the bottom, but no, I think it'll take away from what they're meant to be. I am going to put some candles in there for you, though, and, and show you them as they are lit and what they're like. And you could come in and sign your name a little bit at the bottom, but people use them as mini... Um, plant stands or tea light holders but i just i'm having fun i think i'm gonna be buying shopping tomorrow sharon uh to buy more supplies all right so again trying not to get my fingernails in there but pushing up from the bottom oh i like that oh well come back and explore it in a bit let me just get my molds out of the way so the moulds are good, should be able to reuse them again. They released fairly well, probably need to give them a wipe down before I use them again. And I'm sure that there's going to be plenty of other moulds out there that you can get for this. But let's come and have a little look at this. Ooh, I do like that split in half. And that one is actually smoother. There's no edges that stood out. Whereas that one, when I did it half and half, there definitely was. But love the little bit of white and the gradiating black gradiating is that even a word but look at that swirl on the inside there so i am super excited <laughs> i'm gonna get you sleepy looking at this thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome thank you so much to claire from Claire's Crafty Corner for recommending me have a go with this. Visit my Etsy store should you wish to purchase any of my treasures. And last but not least, showcase your creations on my Facebook group. It's a very lovely community with encouragement. Hopefully we inspire each other and I'd love to see what you create. I loved working with this. I am going to so work with this again. And I've had these tea lights going in there for quite a while. They're a little bit warm, but nothing like hot or like scaldy. And I, as I'm looking in it, I can see my floors with the air bubbles. But you know what? It doesn't bother me so much in this as it would do resin. Because I feel like this is supposed to look like natural cement or porous. But I'm inspired to perfect. 
one way one go in and i don't think it's too bad i love the effects i love the potential i know i've said all this before i've just got to learn how to sand the bottom area and yeah learn how to get my mixture correct myself when it's not in these packs but love the split design love the marbling effect and really love how this just looks like a real nice terracotta and that little gold shimmer but i hope you didn't mind me sharing this little art project with you and if you are inspired to try this yourself let me know what you think about it and thank you for it to resonate i mean i'm not sponsored by them i purchased this myself but for doing these packs starter kits whatever word you want to use that gives you the ability to test a particular type of medium without committing to having to buy big quantities and then that way you can go in have fun you got something to keep and then if you enjoy it you start to buy bigger quantities. Anyway, see you on the next video. You're very sleepy now. Ooh, that's like a Mickey Mouse or something, doesn't it? Bye-bye.